get you started. Okay. Okay, no. Hello and welcome back to the live action here guys. Um, live once again from Chennai. Join us for our last match of this session. Here we've got what should be a really tasty lineup. We've got Mahesh of India, the number one seed. He's up against the number five seed, Mason Gamal of Egypt. Mahesh is the player on court showing his mopping skills here. Good use of the mop. Um, Mahesh has had uh, some, some really good performances in the, the recent events in Blackpool, um, some close matches and really showed his level. Um, currently sits at 47 in the world and uh, has got a, also got an impressive head-to-head -head ratio of two love against Mason Gamal. Both these two players have met two times previously, hence the two love head-to-head. Um, but quite a few years ago, 2018, 2015, so be interested to see where we're at. Player now using his foot and a, a towel to continue to mop the court in a slightly more uh, unorthodox fashion to the, the mopping ability of Mahesh's Mason Gamal, number five seed in this event. He sits at a world ranking of 63. Tall Egyptian player. He's got nine PSA world titles to his name. Older of the two players as well, at 35. So it should be a really tasty uh, battle on here. I've been looking forward to this match all day. I'm joined. Uh, I'm Josh Taylor, and I'm joined by Andrew Cl Cross uh, for this match. So, welcome, Crossy. Hi, I'm Josh. How are you doing, mate? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. A nice day. Been a warm day actually uh, tuning in here from England. We've had actually uncharacteristic uh, sunshine. Yeah, no, that's that's the weather. Chris. Don't worry, mate, it'll be snowing by the weekend. Well, you, you're joking, Crossy, but it, it is actually <laughs> forecast. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there you go, we're going to go from 20 degrees to snow, but I'm, I'm sure the weather's far more consistent uh, in Chennai. Yeah, should be the, a good the intros. Are, um, yeah, the intros were good, mate. I mean, I liked the uh, the mopping and the towels. That was good. Both giving us their resumes for their future future wives. Yeah, I'd probably be hiring Mahesh um, as the court <laughs> cleaner. I think um, far more orthodox use of the mop and seemed a lot more methodical. Yeah. Oh, good start. Yeah, Mahesh. Oh, how do you see this match panning out? Actually? Yeah, I think I think Mahesh looked good. I think he's been looking good actually since uh, I first saw him. I hadn't seen him for quite a while, and then I watched him play uh, Asal in in the black ball last year. And I think it was December last year, and he was very good then. Um, I think he played Castagnier last week, and he looked pretty impressive there. So. Yeah, I think I think Mahesh will be tough to beat here, and he's made a, a positive start so far in the first three rallies. Oh, he's someone that I've been watching. In, yeah, he's that I've been mate. watching Mahesh in those matches that you you mentioned there, Crossy, and um, I, I must say he's, he's kind of a player that I'm sort of expecting to make a few moves. Just looking at his results and how he's taken on the the higher rank players in those. So a bit interesting because. You know, it's turned a little bit here, isn't it? He's one seed for this event, so different different expectations to taking on someone higher ranked. Yeah, I, I know, but I, yeah, I think you're right. I, having watched him play in those two big events, he definitely looks like he's made a move to close the gap, and uh, he's made some improvements to his team, to his uh, to his game. And I think, yeah, yeah this this event. He's top seed, but I think he looks he looks like he means business at the moment. I've seen a bit of Mason Gamal play. Have you seen, seen much of him play at all, uh, Crossy? I, uh, I saw a little bit of him, but it was quite a couple of years ago. 
so I haven't seen seen much of him. What's your thoughts on on him? Yeah, he's been someone that's been around this level for for a while in terms of you know knocking around the, the sixty sort of top hundred and upwards sort of mark. Um, obviously, slightly older player. Um, tends to hit quite good lines, you know. Makes himself quite big around the middle of the court, and I think that'll be interesting to see how these two, both big guys, aren't they here? So, um, bouncy court as yeah. well. Be interested to see how that pans out. Yeah, it's not going to be much much space on there. So she's got um, kind of a bit like a, a sure backhand as well, amazing. Yeah. Keeps that keeps his supporting arm tucked in a little bit. He's actually pushing with his his left hand, isn't he, against his uh, yeah. his playing hand. So it's kind of generates quite a lot of racket head speed quite late using that. An orthodox like his uh, towel mopping technique as well. Then. <laughs> yeah. But I think it's very effective. Yeah, there's definitely isn't, there's going to be a lot of uh, resistance here from Mahesh, especially at the start here. See how that progresses as as the match gets deeper. Which is a standout match that you've seen so far today, Crossy? Oh, there's some good matches today. I think. Uh, I thought Todd Harriet looked pretty good today. I thought that was a good match. Todd Harriet and uh, Ali Hussein. Um, the last woman's match was was decent. A uh, big big upset there for the young Egyptian girl. Uh, Abe obviously big win early on. For the, yeah. For the home home country. I think that was a, a massive win for him. And it's uh, obviously he's going to be excited because come tomorrow he's going to be making a semi-final appearance against the winner of this and he's had quite a few extra hours rest to uh, get himself set for tomorrow yeah I seem to be finding the, the quick short matches crossy I seem to have timed it to get the, the fast moving games that have been over and done before Got going almost. Yeah. That's quite quite good for you. <laughs> they seem to have found me. They seem to have found me on the, the commentary yeah. side. That's that's good. It's a nice little whip across there from Marzen. I like how he's just, as you said, a little bit of extra head speed there at the end has just managed to just turn that cross court. Yeah, I think that's oh, where he's sort of. Um, yeah, that's great. That's where that does just play off a little bit. You know, that, that that sort of technical sort of little bit. It does give him the chance to just get a little bit more whip late using it. Yeah, I'd actually say that. I mean, we just watched the women's match previously, and the standard of serving wasn't that good. That was a great serve from Mahesh in that rally. Didn't quite take full advantage of it, but it was a great serve lob. Landed straight in the back corner. Both girls who were previously just played watching. It's, uh, it's probably good for you girls to see that. Mm. Yeah, I can't see any arguments there from Mahesh. The ball came straight back at him. Good squeeze from Gamal. So, I mean, Mazum's found his way back into this since a good start from Mahesh, and that's a fantastic finish there. I'm not expecting anything from the ref. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect that to be a let. That was, uh, that was good. But he's brought himself back in it, and they're now sort of almost trying to find each other out a little bit. It's, it's kind of what you'd almost expect in the, the middle ground, at uh, the start of a game, and they find each other out a bit. It's starting to come for the mid part, which is... Yeah, he's, he's got himself back in because Mahesh looked like he was uh, 
Just kind of steamrolling through the first few. Reverse bus from the back of the court. So yeah, you're just trying to feel each other out. That's Not being of 35 years of age, across the, um, maybe it's just Mason easing his way in a bit, getting the body going. A few last bits of warming up in those first rallies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, both of them were sat in their chairs right up until the uh, until the last minute before the women's match finished. So they probably only had five to seven minutes of warm up. I can empathise with that, but not the thirty-five years of age bit. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be another stroke. Let's see. Let's see how he can be up looking for anything else other than a stroke there. Smash has built back a lead here, hasn't he? Three point cushion. Yeah, that's a good turn. Turning into a game ball chance with four game balls. Oh, it's a nice little hold there from Mahesh and then just able to whip it a bit cross court. I, always, I feel like Mahesh is, is dominating these rallies, he's always able to get on the tee and stay in front here. I feel like the last yeah, five game. rallies there. Yeah, I just feel first like the last five six, rallies six, there. Minutes. He's just able just to stay in front of. in after a nice little promo from our partners HCL. I do like the jingle of the second one Crossy, it's, it's a catchy one. Yeah it is, it's, it's good, it's good that HCL are uh, sponsoring the event and putting on this, putting on the event in what have proved to be quite difficult times. Oh it's, it's fantastic, I mean it's been fantastic to see all the various nations trying to put events back on. You know, obviously Egypt has massively helped some events in Manchester, you know, in England, and it's much needed for the players, this competition coming back, and it's no easy feat to get these events on. So credit to Indian Squash and, and the partners HCL for doing that. Yeah, I agree. It's not easy at all, and with all the protocols that are in place, and it's been good that they've managed to get this event up and on the calendar and I'm sure the players will be very grateful. It's good from my head, she's I mean, able to stay on the tee there. Yeah, the, the first half of that first game and towards the back end he looked like he was hitting some beautiful lines, Mahesh, and it was opening up some nice opportunities from the middle of the court. It was just that middle part where um, Mason matched him, I think, for quality to the back a bit, and it, as a result, the spaces became harder to find. So, 
be interesting to see yeah, across how, how this comes out. Yeah, I think Mahesh will want to keep that momentum going from that last four or five rallies of the of the first. Just, yeah, that should be a stroke. It's almost like it just tries to make life a little bit difficult. Gamal, and it's just how long he can probably maintain it for. It's not the best width from Mahesh. Yeah, a little bit erratic here, just lost his length and quality. Yeah, it's just struggling just a little bit. What this rally needs from him is a lift. It's not coming. No, he's just one lift that early, burst. Yeah, would have cleared that out. Yeah. But you're right, it just went a little bit erratic in there and it probably that's what Gamal wants him to do. Just this is almost kind of just rushing a little bit at the moment. Just like trying to force things a little bit too much. Yeah, I just need to regroup a little bit, just find the, the patterns that were working for him at the back end and the start of the last game. That's, That's good. Big ball there. That's gone, gone a long way. That was fired out. That had quite a bit of pace on it. <laughs> then we're going into the. Oh, we found it. Found it with ease, actually. I was thinking we might end up with a little bit of an expedition trip. Yeah, it's. Uh, yeah, there we go. It's coming back. Yeah, there's a couple of dots there at the side, which will stop it from going out anyway. Kind of if, if all yeah, I was just going to say, if Mahesh doesn't find good width with his cross court, he finds himself in trouble. Obviously, Marzen is not happy here, as uh, Mahesh slipped in the back corner. He's getting very animated, isn't he? Yeah, very animated. So that is a floor. Just pointing there, that, that, that's the floor. There's a mop. <laughs> Go on, find your racket as well. Oh, no. I think he. <laughs> referees obviously stopped it for, uh, for safety reasons. Which is. Uh, both players were looking to. Yeah, as much as I was joking at the start, obviously they both players just making sure the surface is okay at the start when they with the mop and a lot of matches back to back, so yeah. make sure the sweat has gone into that, that wood properly and dried up. Hopefully uh, Mahesh is all right after his that little fall there. Maybe just a little bit in his hamstring, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit of a hop there, just to make sure that leg's all right. Seems seems okay. Nice straight end because he's hit a lot of cross so far. Yeah, 
like it's just getting the depth in the court rather than getting caught around the service boxes, caught in the middle of the court. You know, it's, it seems that yeah. the player has found their depth. This has become a much more interesting match. Again, this length is just disappearing. It's, it's, it's almost every cross from the backhand to the forehand is the one that causes them problems. Well, there's a lot of uh, interaction going on here. Mm. I do. I'm very sure I'm going to have to get your five He's enjoying having a good natter, isn't he? Yeah, it's... Uh, I've... Yeah. Bit, a little bit disruptive to the game, but it probably just allows him to have a little bit of extra recovery. Mahesh just building his lead, though he's gradually knocking this, uh, knocking away here, full point lead. Well, it's quite, it's quite composed so far, Mahesh. Quite focused in what he needs to be doing it looks like he's not really getting involved in much this could be interesting he's been very internalized hasn't he crossy just sort of within himself just going about his business yeah just not really showing much emotion outwards and just controlling himself a little bit Stayed really short that cross court there from Gamal. didn't quite get the right line on that drive there, Gamal just dragged it down the middle a little bit. Just Yeah, he just dragged quite. it himself to me, he stood in position, he didn't clear off there at all really. Didn't yeah. take more effort. Didn't really allow him through there. There's a fair bit of interference there. No need to raise your hand and watching. No need to flag your hand. No need to raise your hand and watching, okay? I'm sure I'm watching. No need to raise your hand. I'll give you this decision, okay? There's a, a lot of interaction going on here. Now seven, correction, five, seven. Yeah, they're, um, they're certainly building up a relationship, Mason, from Alan the Raff. <laughs> starting to get to know each other well. Yeah, a little bit frustrated at missing that burst. Oh, that one's gone as well. He need to pick that one. Mr. Bhavad, you need to get this one. I don't think it really matters who picks up the ball, does it, Josh? I think it's a bit of uh, COVID etiquette, I think, that's all. Just oh, yeah. the one that smashed it, you're going to get it. <laughs> Go for a little tour around the back of the court. Uh, it's could take 20 minutes. I've got so. Yeah, yeah, I've got a feeling he'll take his time. <laughs> um, 
got to have a little sip of your drink on the way as well. Yeah. Yeah, uh, just try and break, <laughs> break up my hash's rhythm a bit more. Yeah, the ref's got to get a handle of this a little bit. Just get the play moving a bit more quickly. There we go, a few hits. Get up at warm. There we go. And we're back in the room. Uh, not no, yet. Not quite. No, we're, no, we're, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, that's a great bow. Oh, that's I like that. Much. Now we're going to have a hand towel wipe. We do find ourselves at 10-5. Um, five game balls to Mahesh. Been, he's, he's been good. He's gone around his business well here. He's kind of stayed out of all the, all the talking and the discussions and just kind of got on with what he needed to do. I think that's some good experience from Mahesh showing actually, you know, some of the, particular, the, um, the game against Asal at Blackpool, he got involved a little bit, you know, at, at, yep. with it all, and here he's, he's kept doing what he needs to do, he's not got wrapped up in any of the little bits and bobs, um, and I think the score's showing that, isn't it? It's showing it. Yeah, so, he's, yeah he's been doing well here. There he has a two love lead and looking good so far. Doesn't look like anything needs to change. Won't be surprised to see. Uh My score graphic there, just showing 11-5 second game to Mahesh. Some good stuff from Mahesh. Looking uh, in good shape here. When he's finding his lines, he's punishing uh, Mason nicely. He's showing a couple of nice little boasts as well, just a bit of variation from the back of the court. Yeah, I would say it's his there. main issue. Yeah, I'd say his main issue has probably been when he's when he's hit a few lo loose cross courts. That's where it's where he's got himself in a bit of trouble. Um, so if he can get a bit of better width or some better better lines on those cross courts, then he should be in be in good stead here. Really nice that just back from the back there. Yeah, really good angle on that to see that little bit of cut on that ball. Easy error from Mars in there. Looks like he's in good rhythm here, Mahesh. Just moving on with things. Oh, that was good. Fantastic hands up high there. <laughs> Yeah, really nice. Just cut around it, really nice. I was about to say it was a lovely lob from Mahesh from the front and back end. I was like, oh, but it <laughs> came out with something brilliant. Hi. Thank you. Honest there from Mahesh just calling this, uh, this pick up. Yeah, I think they'd have been a bit of. Well, they'd have been a bit upset if, if he tried to carry on there. 
read that well. Yeah, that's not a let. Oh, I probably wouldn't have given a let there. I felt that ran all the way through to the back. You've got to look for a line behind you, really, but. Yeah, as Owen said earlier, I, I know nothing since I haven't agreed with any of them all day, really. <laughs> Uh, very nice. Ah, beautiful. Just reaching out, getting the hands through the ball. I do like Mahesh's backhand actually, it's got a really nice shape to it. Shows good options. Talk about that boast, but it shows quite a bit of threat from the top of the swing. It's nice and open. Yeah, I would say it's something that's improved, improved in his game. That's good there, and then those little, just little subtle holds. Yeah, he's got stuck a little bit behind there, Gamal. Yeah, that's good. Ah. Push, pushing him nice and deep on that forehand side. Forcing the loose one and then beautiful drop shot into the nick. Find the angle, isn't it? Great way there. It's, it's just starting to open and build this lead as well, Crossy, which we saw in that last game. It'd be interesting to see if that pattern emerges again. Yeah. The top of the tin. Did, didn't really need to hit the top of the tin there because Marsden looked like he's struggling out, out of that front right there to pick that ball up. Probably didn't need to go that fine to the top of the tin. So these two guys were adjusted through. Yeah, they were adjusted right from the word go to the glass court in comparison to some of the other matches we had earlier in the day where it took them a game or a little bit longer than a game to adjust from coming from the outside courts yesterday to the glass. These two guys have been straight into it really. Yeah, a bit more glass court experience maybe in um Mahesh certainly is more recently has had quite a bit of experience on the glass court. Yeah, he's not really happy with that drop shot catching that side wall and popping out into the middle. But yeah, just he's had quite a bit of experience recently. Probably thinking he's probably thinking back to that tin he hit that backhand drop, which probably should have been a straight drive and. That would have taken him to 6-2, instead he's been pulled back to 4-5 and now 6-4. Well, that's going to be interesting.
We've seen quite a few reverse busts. Yeah, we've seen three of them so far. Yeah, I mean, not the best angle to see that from, but it certainly looked like it was going to have the stroke. Yeah, it looked, looked like it had just pulled back to himself, didn't it? Just didn't quite get that timing right. Just as we were saying that Mahesh was doing really well not to discuss any of these decisions, he's uh, flipped that on its head. Yeah, he's had a little bit of a say this time. Um, I, I actually thought that might be a no like that decision because he'd gone round the front of him and the ball had flown through, so. Yeah. No lets in that kind of back service box area if they haven't made enough effort or the right line. That looked really good. There. Little fish pump as well. Yeah, that was a really good backhand straight drop. Stayed very tight at the front. on that pickup. Yeah, he's on that. Uh, yeah, he was told not to put his hand up, right? We'll see if he questions it here. There we go. All called good. So here we go, my hash two. Yeah, two, two, two points from a semi-final position. Oh, back wall, Nick. Yeah, ten five five match balls. The Indian player number one seed in this event. Right, for a chance to play Abe Singh tomorrow in the semi-finals. Great shot. And so many ang options there on that mid court. Yeah, it was a great line he hit. Shaped up, looked like he could have hit cross and then just hit it straight down the wall. Oh, he's caught the nick this time at the back of the box. Another one clawed back, then three match balls. Still giving Mahesh something to think about. Mm. Oh, another one. There. Yeah. Almost like a Yorker, that. Trying to get off his toes. Yeah, exactly. 
So, right, here we go. Tactical uh, Town and uh, make the most of the two match balls remaining. I think it's going to be uh, a good point coming here. Oh, a bit of a dodgy return. Well, that, that all kind of ended a bit, a bit strangely. And, uh, there we have it. A they returned down the middle. Yeah, they returned, <laughs> they returned down the middle wasn't meant, and then I don't think, I think Marzen was caught a little bit by surprise, and then he hit another one down the middle. So yeah, yeah there we have it. Mahesh. Mahesh. Eleven six, eleven five, eleven eight in thirty nine minutes. So the number one seed progresses to make an all Indian semi final against Abe Singh.